Hi, good morning. This is Raylene with Roots Restored Wellness. And today I want to talk about Operation Warp Speed, the timeline breakdowns, draining the swamp. What does this all really mean? And no, I'm not talking about Q. I'm talking about timelines and what's going on. If you're catching this on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe button, share with a friend who would find this information beneficial. This is how we increase the mass consciousness and awaken people is by getting every all of this information out. If you're on Facebook, you can click a button to get notified when I do go live. Since it seems to be at random times when my baby is napping or when I have some help with her, which is very rare, I'm still looking for a nanny. Okay, so I'm going to get right into this because I don't want to talk very long today. I might do another one right after this on another topic, but I'll try to keep this just to this one topic today so that's easier to share. So something happened yesterday. So it was November 28th and I was talking to my friend and we dare to ask each other these crazy questions where if you ask anybody else's question, they would think that you have lost your mind. And hey, Cindy... Well, we can ask each other these questions because we are just always trying to be open and explore what's going on in the world. And so I asked her, I said, what date is it right now? And I had the answer I thought, but I didn't tell her because I wanted to see if we had the same answer. And she said, April, 2022. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I thought I was crazy. That was a date that I got too. And so I asked people in my telegram group, also, what date is it if you know how to muscle test? figure out what date. I don't think anybody was really brave enough to answer because it sounds crazy saying it's April 2022, right? Well, one beautiful soul was brave enough and she said, I feel like it's April. <laughs> and then after that, I found that Newsweek yesterday posted an article dated 1128. They also posted an article dated April, I don't remember, 21st, 2021. And I'm like, what the heck? And then this other very intuitive person, her name is Emma Ross, she says, and this is all on my Telegram page if you want to go to the actual sources, energetically we're back in April before the timeline merged with another long story, time is linear and irrelevant. We cleared that timeline and are back on track. This is spiritual war. They have tried their hardest to take us off path and create the timeline they wanted. They have lost and now we will see this play out and materialize in the physical. Hope this all makes sense. <laughs> and so what I have de determined from all of this is that we are, remember, if you've missed my last couple of videos talking about timelines, go check those out. On YouTube, they're labeled with the episode number. I think it's episode 29. On Facebook, they don't have labels, so just go to YouTube. But we have essentially merged. Hello, sorry, it was really windy and we have bad service today. So if it keeps cutting out, I will do just a recorded video and post it to YouTube. Okay, so I was talking about the timelines. And anyway, we have a life spiral and a death spiral. I've talked about this. And essentially they are split. They are at two different timelines during this lunar eclipse and solar eclipse gap, we are on technically the same timeline. And then I believe after the solar eclipse on December 2nd or 4th, try to find the right source on when that happens. Everybody has a different date. And these split permanently. And so what I see happening is that people on the life spiral are either given a second chance or they are propelling forward at warp speed. So at least the 144,000, if not more, are on this warp speed path where we're technically a year ahead. I found that before, right before I did this video, I'm actually on September 2022. But then there's other people who are on the life spiral who are behind us. And they are, they could be back as far as they need to. And I feel like this is their opportunity to get on the right path and to get their mind and everything in the game for this ascension process and to start separating from the earth. Maybe they didn't do it when they were supposed to and they took the wrong path. Now they're going back on the life spiral, so they're not on the death, they're on the life. Back two years, I know somebody who was in July of 2020. And then I see that they're going forward still at a faster speed, so it's not like a day is a day. It's still, like yesterday, I think they were on April 20. 
20. So they went up several months in overnight. So we're at different paces, but people are on their different place on the life spiral. So you can check yourself if you know how to muscle test, see if where you're at, if you are ahead of time or if you're behind time that we would see on our computer or our clocks. And then there's people who are on the death spiral. They are in what we would consider real time. So the time you see on your computer and your phone and the date, that's where they're at right now. And if you look at the news and the comments that people are making, it's very apparent that there's people who are ahead, behind, and in the middle. I want you to start paying attention to this and share your experiences because something is amiss. And the more of us who wake up and realize this, the more that we are going to propel ourselves forward, I feel. And it was about three, two to three years ago, I had a very distinct word from our creator come to me and say, okay, here's this timeline and this is what you need to do. Like we were to leave the United States by November, 2024. This was just for us. Not everybody has the same plan. So I'm not saying this is your plan and this is what you need to do because seek the creator. You have a different plan. Most likely it doesn't do what us light workers good to all be huddled up in one little spot on the earth, just like our government keeps people separated in case there's some nuclear event that goes off. So we, we're not, we're supposed to be spread out for a reason. Anyway, so that was our plan. And we were supposed to go to this like island in the middle of the nowhere for until 2028. And I felt like that was kind of the end of the timeline. I didn't see anything beyond there, but I saw a lot of destruction and breakdown in society start to happen after 2024. 2025 was like a S show of things breaking down horrifically. Well, Earlier this year, I started to question that timeline because I felt like everything was speeding up and I couldn't explain it. I didn't know. I felt like that information was true. When I would check, do we still need to go there? I would get yes, but I felt like we had already bypassed a lot of things that had happened in between 2020 and 2024. So it was very confused. And I feel like now this is starting to fall into place where technically, the death spiral is on this linear timeline. They are on November 29th right now, 2021. People on the life spiral are either behind that or ahead of that. And in the Bible, I'm reminded where we're told that time in the end, in the end times is going to speed up because you wouldn't be able to withstand or get through those times. I'm paraphrasing here, but that's in Revelation. And I'm like, is this true where it's like a month Three months is actually a day for some of us. It's just flying ahead. So my son, this is not to scare anybody because I feel like people are on the life that are on the life spiral are somewhat separated from this. It's not our timeline, this linear one. But he said that there's going to be a lot of volcano eruptions and specific earthquakes happening in 2023. Initially, I saw these happening in 2025. So this is where I'm like, what is going on? is are those gonna happen on my timeline where by th three days from now I could be in 2023? Or are they gonna happen on the timeline of the death spiral? Or the people who are like kind of lost and shuffling along the life spiral at a different pace? I don't know. But I feel like it's, I don't know, it's so interesting. So whatever, give me your thoughts on this because we might all be able to help each other understand this better. And then I mentioned yesterday, I saw somebody post about that we are literally in the midst of a tidal wave, a tsunami, and a rip current all at once. And I can attest to that. I feel like I have so many imbalances coming at me or coming up from the deep surface of my being. And it is literally at a warp speed where what normally would come up for me in three months is coming up in a day. So as soon as I clear an imbalance, then I already have to clear again because there's more coming up and it would make sense if I'm traveling at this warp speed going so quickly through time and things are just flying and flying up and up and then I'm imbalanced again. And this is hence my allergy symptoms. I have been drowning in allergy symptoms and I refuse to take anything on the market that's like, harmful or toxic. So I just, I do my work. And once I clear myself, I feel better. And I had it under control before all this happened. And now it's like, I can't even keep up. 
because there's so much flying to the surface and we have to get ourselves cleared out. We have to. So that's part of this process. We're in a little vortex whirlpool and it's flinging all this silt and toxins and things that have been buried within us, within our DNA, within our imprint for so long up to the surface. So if you feel like you're not doing okay, it's probably a lot of people are feeling that way too. So hang in there, just know, do your best to release. If you feel things coming to the surface, breathe it out and let them go. Don't try to suppress them down. This is why we're in this mess. And I feel like the people who have done a better job taking care of their physical vessel and then their mind and their spirit are handling this much better than I've had several emergency messages this week please help me. I feel like I'm dying. A lot of my clients are not doing okay. And I'm like, are you trying to, you know, suppress things down or what's going on where some people are feel like death. And then I'm just miserable for allergy symptoms. I mentioned this months ago that we have to get this out because the more that we try to push it down, we're essentially trying to go through this whirlpool with all this baggage on us and it's dragging us down into the deep where we can't breathe and we have to be releasing it as quick as it comes so that we can get to the surface and get some air. And I see this process continuing, so I'm sorry. I don't have good news about it getting easier until we get cleared out. <laughs> So if you can do anything for yourself, whether it's energy healing, take some baths, get a massage, make sure you're eating light, healthy foods that are easy to digest, whatever you need to do, do it this week. Take care of yourself and let the emotions flow. I worked on several clients last week where I found that they had what looked like a dam holding back all these emotions and this they were both feeling really, really bad. And as soon as I opened that, gave their body permission to let them flow, I just saw that it like a river flowing out of their bodies. And this huge pressure and anxiety was just released. And then it was, I felt like I could breathe again while I was working on them. So make sure you're not damming things up and stopping this process. We need to let the dam go and just let this flow out of us. So that's what I mean when you need to let it flow because it's going to get stuck and you are going to start to feel so heavy, so anxiety, so overwhelmed, so burdened that you feel like you can't go on anymore. We need you. So let it go. Just ask yourself, why am I holding on to this? What part of it is going to serve my best and highest good? Often it comes from inner child imbalances and shadow energy. In all my sessions, I work on this. So we need to go, what happened in childhood where I felt like I had to block, lock this down or it wasn't safe to feel or it wasn't safe to release this? I had, I think on Thursday, I was working on my sinuses and I had a really big breakthrough and I'm like, yes, they feel so much better. And then 10 minutes later, back again. But I found a ball of anger stored inside my sinuses where I'd held up all this anger from my life of seeing all these injustices happening and I'm very sensitive. I remember when I was a little girl watching a fight on TV because my dad had no filter like he would watch whatever he wanted who cared if kids were seeing inappropriate things and I think I was three and this guy knocked out another guy and I was just beside myself. I went to my room and I was uncontrollably sobbing like how can people treat each other like this? What world is this? Like I don't want to be in this world. This is horrific and I've been through my life so sensitive like that and I know that I was just angry like why am I here why are people treating each other this way and from when I a little tiny age I built this like ball of anger in my sinuses and I literally watched it explode and then behind it was green healing energy and I watched that flow out and it did actually clear my allergies for sinuses for a while but it could be something like that for you so I want you to just sit still and this is where meditation can be helpful where you just sit still and go within and listen to your body. And if your mind wants to take you to one of those traumatic experiences, let it go there and just give your body yourself permission to release. Um, one other thing that you might be noticing is extreme weather changes or temperatures. For me, we're December in Montana and normally it is, we've had multiple snowstorms by now. Last year by October, I think we had over two feet of snow. This year we've only had two inches. And yesterday, I think it was in the 60s. Today, it's 54, which is almost unheard of for this time of year. 
we've had extremely windy weather, which it normally is very, we're the windiest spot in the US, which is, I don't know why, why do we pick here? But we had gusts, 60, 70, 80. My husband thought maybe we had a 100 mile an hour gust of wind yesterday. And it literally shattered a wood pile and blew this stuff all over our yard. And my windows like rattle and they shake because it's so windy and it's hard for me to sleep. Well, last night I went to sleep and we were having probably steady 40 miles an hour with 60 mile an hour or more gusts. And I woke up in the middle of the night. It was dead calm. And when I went to bed, the sky was clear. I can see the stars from my bed and cause I live out of town and there's not a lot of like pollution in the way my window faces. And then I woke up or it was so crazy. I woke up, this whole, looked like a fog all over the earth. Everything was foggy and cloudy. And then it was still, and it was, it freaked me out because I'm like, when it gets windy here, it'll whip, whip heavily hard wind for a week or two weeks it does it's relentless until we get a cold front come in and then when it's cold the wind stops and so you either take warm weather like 50s or 40s in montana with horrific wind or you take the nasty cold weather with calm and then i woke up and it was like blowing five miles an hour i was checking the trees and now it's probably back to 15 or 20 miles an hour, but it was so interesting. So pay attention to weather and just these, the news articles, the dates on things, and let us know if you're noticing anything interesting. Okay, what else? So I think that's all that I have for today. I didn't want to talk very long, but I'm going to go do another live today if I get a chance or I might pre-record it. And I'm just going to talk about some of the collective work I'm doing. If you miss my post, it's called Bugging Out about all the different bugs and insects that we are experiencing in our lives. And I feel like the solution of the year for us in 2021 was actually anti-parasitics. Drink dandelion tea, pine needle tea, pine needle, um, or pure pine gum spirits, which is turpentine. All of these things, hydrochloro, Q, Q -I -N E, the Ivor horse paste, all of these are anti-parasitics. I really feel like we are completely infested with bugs, not only physically, but energetically, seriously. So you don't want to miss out on my next talk. That's what's going to be about and get on, find some anti-parasitics taste or check if you need them physically. I just add them energetically. I did buy some pure behind gum spirits just out of curiosity, but I have not taken it yet. So, and then my friend gave me some Miracle Minerals, Mineral Solution, and I've used it before, and it actually does clear out parasites. And so I'm like, well, she gave it to me. Maybe I'll try it. Anyways, that is today's talk for this or for this topic. I'm going to go live on my business page now to do quantum healing live and answer your questions about quantum healing, which is a completely different topic than this. And then I'll try to get to my bugged out um, live, but it all depends on whether baby's sleeping and I have help. So take care and have a great rest of your day. If you think somebody would relate to this that's going on, please, please um, share this. Somebody said, don't take pine needle tea. Muscle test if you need it. I add everything pretty much energetically. I do drink dandelion root tea every single day. It's amazing. I make it as a latte and I froth it up and it's delicious. I put it in my breakfast smoothie. So take what resonates for you. And if you know how to muscle test, definitely check if that's a good option. So again, I have not personally taken anything else besides dandelion. And if like four years ago or three years ago, I took Miracle Minerals, Mineral Solution before I knew about quantum healing and it did help me release parasites. So just sharing information. Okay. Take care and have a great rest of your week.